Hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a serious topic. This is something that I can imagine the entrepreneur slash self improvement um like YouTuber Hamza who has his niche for doing those videos on self improvement. I didn't mean to say it on that double tone, you know. And this is about taking risks and just fucking going for it. Okay. An hour ago, because um, I'm still in school, and I think I've technically been held back from autumn. There's a thing in my school called Decentis, which is like to help with future jobs. I don't completely get it, but it's just like career opportunities and all that. But I still have a gaming addiction, and I sense that I would have failed because recently I ended up reinstalling Dead by Daylight. Like, what's it? I was trying to say DVD. Fair enough. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. But I'm adamant now because. When I say I'm adamant on doing something. Um, so, after the Ringu chapter comes out, hopefully later this month, because I've been trying to find out the release date on YouTube, usually someone says it, but this one never did. Uh, so, after the Ringu chapter comes out, I'm not staying for the sixth anniversary. I'm going to tell myself I'm not going to, and I'm not going to. I just want to keep on reciting give my mind bad examples on why not to and then I won't do it I just I won't stay um but I just want to play because my mind's set on the Ringu I'm going to go play for the Ringu chapter okay the Onryo and then we'll go from there but the whole video topic is mainly about the fact that you have to persevere guys because in this modern day, you may be stuck, you may go through some tough times. Because as the book, I'm I'm actually going to get the hard copy of the book. I don't know if, I think it's going to be paperback, sorry, I think, I think I'm going to say paperback. Of Hard Times Create Strong Men. That's going to be the next book I want to get. I was originally planning on getting um The Male Advantage. I say Advantage, but I'm going to say Advantage because... <laughs> I've only been watching too much for Chris and first man. But honestly, it's true because Hamza keeps repeating that quote. Hard times create strong men, fun times create weak men or whatever, but it's just like, it's a really, really important quote, especially in this modern age of like mixture of Millennials and Gen Zs, like me, I'm Gen Z, but I don't know, I'm trying to enable more good habits into my life, and I might try in the future if I am able to, I have a decent job, I might, if I can, figure out to do a routine and end up maybe changing my gym, because right now our gym is in a leisure centre right next to a school, which most gyms go to go to those or I've got a big one i.e. like pure gym but on the topic of persevering you just gotta you gotta take these risks guys it's so true I've been learning more about money my dad he's got an XJS celebration because he's a Jaguar XJS enthusiast and he told me yesterday on Sunday that I've got to end up probably paying out 59 times, which will be in the next five years to pay. But if anything happens to him in the next few years, I'm going to have to carry on paying it and I don't want to take out a fucking loan. That's literally going to be the worst option and I know it's going to be the worst option. I'll suffer dire consequences if I take out a loan and I don't want to make that mistake. Because he's already took quite a few things out for loans before and I've seen the consequences. And 
My dream is to follow Hamza's footsteps and I could tell plenty of men are trying to set that path and go straight. I've always had a calling in my life and one of my biggest fears is not only being stuck in more of a rut, because I've been in a rut most of my life, but I do want to go far because I've been connected to a lot of stuff. Like I've met quite a few famous people, especially correlated was the main few start because of my dad going to different car shows. So I met the likes of Norman Jewish, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sadly passed away back in, I think it was like 2019, I could be wrong. And Tim and Fuzz Town, Fuzz, Fuzz Townsend from Kai SOS. And I met also quite a few famous people on the TWS Sports Podcast. I've been right here. Because at the moment, I definitely class myself as an incel because... I haven't got a part-time job yet, and I'm looking for one. But, like, I don't want to be a black pillar. A black pillar is just so fucking loud. Okay. They're not even trying. Most of them don't even fucking try. I at least want to try, and I'm willing to make sacrifices. Because... I know it sounds fucking pathetic, but I, I say to most people who I'm close with, I wouldn't say this to my girlfriend, because since I'm wanting to become more red-pilled, I don't want to show my weakness, because Hamza made that mistake, and he explained in his recent video, speaking technically upon this topic. You know, they give the excuse, you can cry around women, but it's it takes a lot now, I've, I've been manning up more. Because the last time I brutally, brutally fucking cried was at my um, granddad's funeral back in November. The last year. Not only that, but I was doing some gratification because I was watching the finale of Squid Game on Netflix. And, you know, that tore me apart. And then my phone. Because it figures my phone. Yeah, no, it was my tablet. My tablet. Sorry. My tablet still had it on my clipboard of a picture of, you guys know from my gaming streams, that I stupidly had this crush on this 32 year old. For all I know, she could be watching this shit still because she used to watch my, my, um, one of my streams. It's, it's mentally draining how much I've just been down bad for a lot of women. And I haven't even been in a proper relationship yet. I've only ever had technically one. And it, it wasn't even classed as an intimate, proper bonding relationship. Because I was only like about fucking seven and a half, eight, or even younger. I think I was like, I'd probably say about seven, just turned seven. I never had one girlfriend. I've always been seeking to find not the one because 50 50 on that opinion nowadays. You, you see it all the time, guys. Nowadays, marriage is not worth it. It's not. I'm just going to be brutally honest. It's, it's not. There's probably going to be teachers watching this shit because they found out I've some. Pupil from my school, it's an overall student, it's not my pupil, it's a student. They must have either told them and they searched up because I remember they gave the excuse that oh, it pinged up because like they have like trackers from upstairs, not the IT room, but they have like one of these like IT men in the school, and they've been like once you type a certain word or anything. Any activity you do on the laptops or computers, it tracks up into that room and they get to see what you do. That's how much, I think even mainstream schools do that shit. Um, for you guys 
who were OGs and managed to watch the video on the ghost one, which is real, by the way. I'm not bullshitting, I actually did see a fucking ghost up there. I used to be a non-believer, but they are definitely real. Because a few years ago, I went to a abandoned house. And uh, I know it's classed as trespassing now, but this was about when I was like 14. So I think almost 15. And I thought I saw a ghost there, but that was, that was a figment of my imagination. But that ghost video, I still kept, that's the only video out of the, the um, because there was always that made. The others were fake. I managed to milk it afterwards. The, the others I made afterwards were fake. I shouldn't have done it, because one, it got me into a lot of shit, and two, I was half petrified, but I was like, well, I didn't, I didn't bump into the ghost for the next two hours, so I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Anyway, that's off topic. In the future, I'm also planning on a lot of these self-improvement YouTubers are making similar titles to Hamza. And Hamza's been based most of his videos off of a YouTuber as well. But he also makes his own main, like, efficient content anyway. But another one is going to be on the topic, um, I might start making it next year, since that'll be when I'll improve more, but I might make it actually earlier. Maybe later. Yeah, I'll make it I'll make it later this year. And if in the future I could just update on it, but I don't know. I might just make an updated version, kinda of like when uh Hamza did the aesthetic body update video. When it's on the topic of books that helped improve my life or something on the lines of that. But it, it is hard because I remember a while ago, this was back in December, I'd say. I got into your this. Hamza made a video, I forgot what the topic was, but he said, go take the personality test. And I took it, and I ended up getting the INFJ T. I theorised that I was an INFJ, but T is even rarer. Right? And it's I'm the protagonist, and a lot in my life, it was saying I was more... I was more uh, extroverted, I think that's the right word, than introverted. Because um, it was like, I think, 48% extroverted and like 20 something percent introverted. I could be wrong, I don't want to get the analytics wrong, but it's something on the lines of that. And I do, a lot of the time in my life, I do feel like a lost protagonist. I used to, I used to think of this quote, I just wish. For just a few seconds, I could just see through someone else's eyes. Because a lot of the time I feel lost and I feel like a lot of things are clashing on me like I'm living some fucking drama. Like, I am I feel like I am living through some fucking matrix most of the time of my life. It's, it's honestly shocking. I also feel about my dad, I mean, even though he's caused quite some trouble in my life as well, and he has been a bit of a dickwad a lot of the time, and his banter can be quite offensive. At times, I do feel bad for him, because right now he's a maintenance guy in some old people's home, like a care home, I mean, and it's utter shit. I'm not going to mute, it's, it's a nine to five, and he ends up working an extra hour for better pay. And his wages. You know, it's just like he deserves a better job. Like I know I know he has dyslexia and he can't understand a lot of stuff, but he deserves a better job role. So it's like something a little bit better. I know he can't be an entrepreneur or I mean maybe if he got the guidance I think he'd learn it and enough time I think he'd learn it, but it's just I do want to skate the rat race, and I I am trying a lot of my life. I mean, tonight I'm going to be doing a bit of instant gratification, but I won't 
straight away jump onto my PlayStation and I've only, I'm only watching two more YouTube videos. I'm not, not streaming the game tonight either. It's just playing a bit. I know it's not going to be an hour. It's going to be two hours or two and a half. Because that I agree with Hamza as well. The whole, I'm going to play one hour of video games is bullshit. Even if you time it, some people usually go over it. If you put the time on your phone, you just be like, one hour. I usually put it for one hour 45 because I know I wouldn't be on there for exactly an hour. That's bullshit. Straight up bullshit. It's technically just hit time for me to go to the gym. I go to the gym in the afternoon. I always try to go at least at five o'clock. Shit, sorry. There. Basically, like the similar to the wake up call that most entrepreneurs slash high value men do. Um, but I have been trying to wake up earlier. Uh, there's a YouTuber as well who I'll put in the description. I forgot his name. He's got his, I don't know his ethnicity is African, but he's an aspiring um, self improvement YouTuber as well. I can tell. Um, he's following Hamza's footsteps as well, and I can see quite a few men doing that now. So I want to be a part of this tribe. Slash cool. And I really do want to change a lot of things in my life soon. I was originally hoping to be starting college later this year, but I will be doing one more year at school by the sound of things. But I've got to keep my gob shut in school. That's only a plan though. That that might not be true actually. Very honestly. It's only that's only an idea actually, guys. That's that might not happen. So if anyone's watching from school that might not be happening, so sorry. Sorry if I uh, raise your ho high hopes up or whatever. Forget what I said, because that hasn't been exactly confirmed. There's just been talks that I might be going to some mainstream school. It hasn't been confirmed what it is. So mainstream school, just for probably a year, and then I'll be going to college after July, in the summer holidays. Yeah, yeah, and the summer holidays after July. But yeah, hope you guys understand and make sure to create a routine. That's another valid thing, which I'm going to list in the, in the description from that other YouTuber. So I'll list Hamza's channel, and I'll list that one video from that YouTuber I was talking about earlier. Because what me, Hamza, and that other YouTuber preaching, and many other YouTubers who are now being on self-improvement, You need to take risk and you need to suffer. I know I didn't go much into the topic earlier, but it's true. You do need to suffer. It's for the best. That's it. I'm going to, sorry, I, I'll actually do Hamza's video on his unfiltered channel. His main channel is Hamza and his second channel is Hamza Unfiltered. I watch both, but I've mainly been more close to the unfiltered channel because the main channel goes on to multiple different topics now and it's mostly high predated. And for the Jeffreys out there who have low, lower attention spans than me, like my attention span, truth be told, is fucking low. But like people who have worse attention spans than me because I've been quite patient. I won't say that I'm like patient, patient, but I've improved over the last few years. Because back when I was just turned 16, I'd probably say like, I don't know, halfway through the year. That's probably not so much too much. But like, so like turning to next year since my birthday's in October. So like a few months afterwards, whenever I ended up having a, like, a doctor's appointment, I gladly waited. I think I ended up waiting for two hours. And I only read like a mag, a magazine. That's it. Not a good magazine for any of you dumbasses out there. Like a literal read magazine uh i don't think there's anything else that i could say i haven't got an edit yet but i'm hoping to get one in the future i'd love to pay one so yeah as hamza or and many other aspiring entrepreneurs slash uh, self-improvement niche youtubers say do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it. 